Welcome back to Town Hall Hot Air. A very special guest with us today, Ellen Covert, uh, star of uh, Star of the Screen, <laughs> is here at uh, is here at CPAC with us. And I, first off, I have to tell you, Alan, big huge fan. Uh, of the thank movies. you. Uh, I think the first time I saw you, I said the same thing, though. <laughs> I think you did. I did. Yes. I said, I read you every day. You are, you are very kind. Uh, but, uh, but my wife and I love the movies. Oh, uh, thank you. And, uh, and, but you're here to talk about a very, uh, a very uh, special effort that you're making to, to reach out to small children to, mm -hmm. to build up better knowledge of, of our country yeah. and, and, and the values that, uh, that we live on. Yeah, well, you know, I always tell people, you know, the first thing I ever learned about the Constitution was on Schoolhouse Rock. And the first exactly. thing I ever learned about government was the same thing. So I was watching Scooby-Doo, and all of a sudden, I'm learning the preamble to the Constitution. That doesn't exist. And uh, so Cherry Tree is just, it's an app. It's on iPhone and iPad right now. We're expanding to all the other platforms as soon as we can. And uh, it's a free app, and basically it opens a children's bookstore on your iPad. And we have four different book series. Uh, you know, the first book we offer is free. So you can actually get one book free when you download, and it's Tex the T-Rex. And he is a dinosaur who was born in Texas on the 4th of July, and he loves nothing more than to travel the country and visit historical landmarks and talk to children about them. So he goes to Plymouth Rock and talks about the pilgrims and why they came here for freedom, and he talks... He goes to Mount Rushmore and explains who each of the presidents were and why they actually are up there. And you know, then he goes to Cape Canaveral in another book and explains that you know we're the only country that could somehow get it together to put a rocket to the moon. Right. And he talks, and so it's a little bit about American exceptionalism and just kind of teaching kids, you know, a little bit about the founding, hopefully, and you know where the country is. Well, but, Alan, you're not allowed to put the words American and exceptionalism together anymore. You know that. Yeah, I know. Hollywood, I, you know that you can't <laughs> say that anymore. Well, but it's true. I mean, if you look around the world today, even in probably the worst worldwide economic downturn and chaos everywhere, sorry, wouldn't want to be anywhere else except where I am right now. Totally agree with and, that. And, and, and I, I don't. I don't find that controversial and I don't find it political to say our country's great and I love it. Trust me, I've been to other countries. They're the same way. Go watch the World Cup. The Germans aren't rooting for everybody. Right. They're rooting for the Germans. Right. Everyone loves their country and I don't know why anyone should be ashamed of ours to love it. So. Exactly. Now, the, 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 the book series that you have here, and, uh, you got uh, Special Hops, The Good, Bad, and The Cuddly. Right. That is a, that is a Special Hops are a group of rabbits. And they protect the farm where they live. So if there's a, in one of the first books, uh, someone overhears the bears in the other woods talking that, that they want the lake that's on this farm. And the rabbits get together with everyone on the farm and they build a defense and rally everyone to, you know, it's just kind of showing people, trying to show kids that, you know, a little bit about loyalty and honor and bravery and to kind of say, hey, these people protect us and they're good people. How about uh, the eagles? I see the eagles here. It looks like a, 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 an adult eagle and two, yeah. two small it's eagles. It's a family of eagles. And it's just, you know, different family, it, you know, it's the teacher's family values. In, in one of the books, they go visit their grandparents who live on a farm. The electricity goes out. And so the grandparents show the kids, hey, you want to eat dinner tonight? Well, let's go out and get what we need. And they pick apples and make an apple pie. And they just kind of learn about work and how food gets to the table. And uh, Our Town USA is uh, a series which is basically just kind of small town values. It's uh, in the first book. The first book offered is The Money Tree. And it's a little boy who wants his mommy to buy him something. And she's like, hey, money doesn't grow on trees. I can't just buy you everything. And he says, well, where does money come from? And so he, she makes him go to work with his father the next day. Wow. And he spends the day at his father's auto shop and just kind of learns what his father does to earn money and, you know, providing services to people and, you know, and customers. So, and, but, so what, 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 what part of the money tree does he apply for a government grant uh, for, for a study of... Uh, yeah. Of the sex life of uh, insects, and uh, or or, like said, or, or, or a bailout, or oh, those okay. are be for when we get to high school. Oh, okay, good, okay, good. You know, it's like someone said. They go, well, "When do you teach them about taxes?" And I go, "Well, that's not what I'm here to teach them." <laughs> you know, I'm not. I, you know, these books aren't ideological. These books are just simple common and sense. And they're not making us. They're not making a, a political statement other yeah. than just to say these are our values, yeah. and they are good values. And one of the goals is to like, look. I have three children. I have three daughters, ages five and under. Uh, they don't watch it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love them. 
they don't make, they don't watch anything unless my wife and I've watched it first. But you know, there's, I just want parents to know that if they go to Cherry Tree, that they don't have anything to worry about. Exactly. Now I have two granddaughters. Right. Nine and three years okay. old. And uh, nine years old. A little, a little too old for this. For, perhaps a little too old yeah. for this, but the three year old I think would love oh, this. That's who this is for. Especially since it'd be playing on grandpa's iPad, which, exactly. which her big sister gets to do and she yeah. doesn't really yeah. get to do too but much. That would be so. I mean, look, my kids yeah. saw an iPad and immediately were like, what is this magic thing that you have? Give it to me. Right. And so we wanted to figure out a way. And the books are interactive. The kids can digitally turn the pages when the parents are done reading, which trust me, my kids are just waiting for me to finish when I get to the bottom of the story so they can go eat and they flip. <laughs> but if you're on a road trip or you're on an airplane, we also have all the books fully narrated. See, this is, this is amazing. And they're fully narrated. And the first book is free, but even the succeeding books in the, in, yeah. in the series, they're $3. Yeah, $2.99. $2.99. They're $2.99, and uh, you can preview all of them. So you can actually look at a few pages to see if you want that story for your children or not. Like I said, the app is free. You can check it out. This is a, you know, we're in the free market here. Of course. So yeah. people can look at it and if they like it, you know, stick around, buy a book and see what's coming up. I mean, we're actually getting, you know, we're in the works on a series for even for two year olds. Really? Which is, uh, you know, America Counts. And it's about learning to count, and learning your numbers. Uh, as American as ABCs, which is, you know, A is for America, B is for Betsy Ross. Just, you know, simple ways to teach your kids the alphabet and also maybe give them a little bit about our country. A little bit about our country. You know, when I was a, when I was a, a child, and it was not that long ago, <laughs> uh, you know, it was, I, I grew up with, with all sorts of different patriotic, yeah. uh, you know, books and, and I remember having like uh, Revolutionary War wallpaper, yeah, on my, yeah, yeah. You know, red, white, and blue uh, bedspread. Right. And, you know, literally, I mean, this is I'm recounting my childhood here. Uh, in fact, my room is still decorated like that. <laughs> uh, but you don't see that too much anymore. You no, don't see people really, really in inculcating the values, not political values, exactly. but just the, just the, a, a pride of, of, of a very exceptional country, yeah. and uh, I think that's, that gets lost, and you're right, I think, about the, um, uh, the Schoolhouse Rock. Schoolhouse Rock was a great way to teach kids about, you know, about democracy, right. about, about grammar. Yeah. I, I mean, I still remember conjunction, junction, yes. what's your what's function. Your function? Yeah, you know, this is great stuff. You know, it's about numbers, and... Yeah, and that's, you know, it's just something we're trying to offer for parents to be able to say, hey, I remember stuff like that, and I'd like my, I'd like to be able to pass some of that on to my children. And like I said, hey, I think these books are for everyone. You know, I'm at CPAC because I also know that this is a place where, one, I wanted to find a reason to come to CPAC. Oh, good. <laughs> you need no reason to come to CPAC, Alan. You are always welcome well, to Well, as, as, as a father of three children, my oh. wife needs a reason for me to be, uh, I'm sorry, to yes. go to CPAC for a few I have days. no life. My wife is sitting over there right now, and she can, she can assure you I have, no, I have no life. My wife wanted to come. I was like, but who's going to watch the kids? <laughs> and so, but yeah, it, it, it's just, you know, I think they're for everybody. You know, it, it's a great country, and I think even people that we don't agree with politically agree with that. So I think so, too. I don't see it as a problem. I don't see this as a, this is not a conservative no. issue. It's not a liberal issue. No. It's just a, a, a pride of a, a pride of who we are. And it's just kind of if these are the values you have, which are, you know, kind of hard work and, you know, family and loyalty and honor. Those are good values. Those are great. I, I mean, I would love my children to be raised with those values. But as a parent, you know, I know I'm going to try to instill those in them, so. And this is one way to help, and of course, right now it's only available on iPad. iPhone and iPad. iPhone and iPad, but it's coming out we're soon on we're gonna, Yeah, and we're going to try to be on every platform. We're going to expand to the Droid, and if you want to just go online and look at it, it's uh, Cherry Tree Children, which is, I, for some reason I can't pronounce correctly, Cherry Tree Children. Let's say that five dot com. And Cherry you can go see what we're about and check it out. Cherrytreechildren.com. Yeah. And uh, if you've got the iPhone or iPad, you can check it out yeah, in the App Store. Download the app. It takes a couple seconds. And if, like I said, it's free. And if you don't like it, beep. Especially if you've got young kids, you yeah. definitely want to check this out. Alan, thank you so hey, much thank for you, sitting Ed. with us. My pleasure. Thanks Alan Covert, we'll be back with more from Town Hall and Hot Air.